Hey guys, I am driving back from an NCLEX review session, so I thought that I would give you the um, kind of 411 on my last few days and what was going on. So if you would like to hear about the exciting um, last few days I've had, then go ahead and stick around. So um, on Friday the 6th, um, so today's Monday. On la last Friday the 6th was my pinning. So I was pinned as a uh, an RN. And then Saturday the 7th was my graduation from school. So I did that. Um, so hopefully I'll put some of those pictures in there. So I am now officially, um, well, a graduate nurse anyway. Um, and then, so now I am on to the fun task of preparing for NCLEX because uh, something I put on um, Facebook this morning, pomp and circumstance are done and if I want those two letters behind my name then I have to pass the NCLEX. So this week begins my five, my month long study for NCLEX. Um, right now I'm waiting on the Ohio Board of Nursing to send me my ATT. Um, some people from my program have already gotten theirs. Um, but they were, I believe, mostly military people have gotten theirs. And um, the rest of us are just waiting. Most of my information is on the Ohio Board of Nursing. Um, my, um, let's see, my background check's gone through. I paid for my person view. Uh, I paid for the Ohio Board of Nursing. I paid them the $75.00. So now I'm waiting for my education verification to come through and then um, they should send me something on um, I buy email. So I'm checking that every day and I'm planning to take my NCLEX in the middle of June. So right now I'm just kind of waiting and while I'm waiting I'm going to prepare. So let me tell you about um, the steps that I'm going to take to prepare for NCLEX. Okay. So right now I'm taking a local class called It Nurse. Um, I actually already took this class once before. I took it um, back in spring break. And then we had our last semester and now I'm taking it again. I'm actually not able to do the complete three days. I have uh, kids I have to get to school and then get back off the bus, but I'm kind of getting what I can. Um, kind of just a little review there. Um, the nice thing is that you pay for it once and then you can actually go back um, You can actually go back and take it as many times as you need to so I'm just going to kind of go in when I need to and um, Kind of review certain topics uh, The other thing that I'm doing is I'm going to use the NCSBN website um, They have options for three-week study plans five-week study plans and a um, Let's see, I believe it's an eight-week study plan. I'm going to try the five-week study plan, um, you know, give or take a week or so. I may not, you know, do the whole five weeks depending on when I get my ATT. I'd like to take the NCLEX um, by the second, by the end of the second week of June, so by the 14th probably. Um, my instructor told me that after 45 days that the pass rate for NCLEX after you graduate um, goes down, so I think in the first six weeks after graduation is probably the best um, way to do that. So I'm going to do that and on the NCSB website they have like a schedule that you can use. So a certain amount of hours every day you go through the different um, going through the different um, units. There's a pretest that you take. There are um, question banks that you use so whatever you need um, to uh, you know you go through as many of those as possible so I've got that I'm gonna uh, one reason I'm using that is because um, you know I've got we did an ATI can comprehensive reviews through school the last three days of the week last week for pinning um, I did the um, it nurse program which is mainly content with of course some testing strategies as well uh, which is really useful because I feel like there's always more content that you can study uh, to understand better and there's always things that 
are difficult like acid base balance and EKGs and all that stuff math so um, I've got that and then I'm using you know my other study materials I've got my Saunders book that ATI comprehensive review book I'm sure I'll use that here and there um, let's see I've got the exam cram review question book I've got apps I'm using so you know I'm sure that there are going to be um, you know different resources that I'm using but um, um, but the nice thing is is it gives you kind of that study plan um, because I need that I am NOT an organized person I've got a family I'm busy so uh, without a study plan I'm just kind of not sure like I'll study one day and maybe I'm not studying the right way or studying the right material and I'm I know I'm not gonna get through all of it I'm gonna end up lacking in material and then you know who knows I may not pass I really want to pass the first time so I'm doing the NCSB and website and I'll kind of as I'm studying I'll, I'll let you know how that goes I am also um, I'm also going to um, use UWorld now that's basically question bank and um, it's got questions and then excellent ra rationales that I've heard I haven't used it too much yet but I've heard the rationales and the setup of the questions are exactly they, the way they are on the NCLEX. Now, I haven't taken it, so I can't tell you if it's true or not. But um, I've heard that, so that's going to be another good resource for me. Um, you know, probably as I go on, I'm going to be doing more questions every day and reviewing the rationales. And then by the end of studying, I'm probably, that's mainly what I'm going to be doing. I'll be done with all my content review, and I'll just be doing questions. Um, at least my experience with ATI, for me, doing the questions is super important. Um, that's where, kind of where you learn where you're lacking and why questions are wrong and you can review and all that stuff. Uh, pharmacology is huge for me. Um, I kind of, my it nurse program, I've kind of got a way to go through my meds, so I'm going to do that. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just hit it, start studying and, and hopefully by the Hopefully soon I'll get my ATT, I'll set a date, and then just go in prepared. So anyway, that's kind of how um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to study probably for the next couple, two, three weeks while my kids are in school. I'm thinking, so it's not, yeah, it's like two weeks at this point. I'm going to go ahead and study during the day while they're at school. Uh, and then when they're out of school, uh, for that period of time, I'll probably study in the evening um, take you know two or three hours I'm probably not going to study more than three hours every day because at least for me I don't have you know I need that break and I'm not going to get a lot out of it if I try and study like six eight ten hours a day on top of the fact that I've got a house to take care of and kids to take care of and I want to actually have a social life uh, because I've been missing out on that for three plus years going back to school so um you know it's a priority but it's not my only only priority so I really want to you know keep it balanced as possible and I'll I know with the NCSB website there's a pre-test and I'm assuming that there's a post-test and I think as you go through units and quizzes and stuff you have to get a certain grade before you're able to move on so I'm going to do that too so anyway that is my plan right now um uh, pinning graduation, as I said before, went really well. It was, pinning was so great. It was very intimate and um, super special, and it felt really good. Um, it was a nice accumulation of a lot of hard work. But now I'm moving forward, and um, I've had a couple, not official job offers, but I actually, I definitely have some leads, and I've talked to some recruiters and stuff with local hospitals. So... I'll probably be starting to interview while I study for NCLEX. So the next uh, four, six weeks will probably be pretty busy for me, but um, I'm going to try and let you know what's going on with that. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any comments or um, any information that you would like to know. Uh, like and share the video, and I will talk to you guys soon.